Hey guys, so if you don't know how to use your flares properly in Battlefield 3, this is probably what's happening to you right now when you fly. So today, we're going to show you how to use your flares properly in Battlefield 3. Okay, so now here me and my friend Sam have found an empty map of Gulf of Oman, Plane Conquest, and I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the controls that I use to fly, and what you're going to want to do is go hit start, go to options, go to controls, and I fly on alternate but sorry that was my text tone, I fly on alternate buttons and alternate heli buttons with both jet and heli. Um, heli sticks and jet sticks are on Legacy Southpaw. This may sound really weird for some people, because it's a rare setting to use, but it helps a lot when you fly, I promise. Um, vehicle buttons, even though we're not covering vehicles, I also play on the alternate. Everything else is default. So, after this, I think we're about to, yep, we're backing out, and we're gonna pick up the Viper. So now he's locking on. He's got the solid lock right now. That high pitch beeping means he fired, and that's when you want to deploy your flares. That's the reload noise. This is locking onto somebody. Now you have a solid. Deploy it. And you fire. He's going to deploy flares. So this is what it looks like with a jet. You're going to get that solid lock noise. You hear that loud beeping. That means they've deployed their rockets. That's when you want to deploy your flares, about a second after that. Depending on how close you're following. Okay, so this is being locked on to and being killed if you don't deploy flares correctly. So I didn't deploy flares at all. You lose control of your vehicle. I we'll cover controlling the plane after being hit later. In a different video. So this is my vehicle setup that I use. I use air radar, IR flares, and rocket pods for my jets, as you can see here. I normally do heat seekers for air, but I've been using rocket pods. Um, attack helicopter, stealth IR flares, heat seekers, stealth thermal optics, guided missiles for all the government stuff. So we'll talk. We'll also talk about hover later in a different video. Okay, so sometimes flares do fail on close encounters. This is just another success of me deploying my flares when the box on. You hear the high pitch beeping, deploy the flares, and it makes the rocket to bait. So that was how to use your flares in Battlefield 3 properly. I hope you are safe on the battlefield and see you guys in the next video.